The Sixth Tower Mohammed was named after Morocco's King Mohammed VI. He is an Alayuate and ascended to the throne on July 23, 1999, following the death of his father, King Hassan II. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So, if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. The King of Morocco has substantial business holdings in a range of economic sectors. His net worth has been estimated to be between $2.1 billion and more than $5 billion, and he was the richest monarch in Africa in 2014, according to the American business magazine Forbes and the world's fifth richest king. Mohammed VI Tower a 250-meter-high mixed-use structure under development near the Bouregre River in Rabat, Morocco's capital, with a total area of 102,800 square meters. The project, which will be one of Africa's tallest towers, is being worked on by the 6 and 6 construct. The structure will be visually stunning, will be filled with technology developed by V6's engineering department, and will meet the strictest environmental standards. The 250-meter-tall, six-story Mohammed structure is designed to be seen from a radius of 50 kilometers. The construction has a total ground surface area of 102,800 square meters, and is made up of a tower erected on a platform that resembles a rocket on its launch pad. The building's framework, according to the project's design, can endure not just typical elements like high winds or earthquakes, but also flooding from the nearby Bouregre River. The Mohammed VI Tower is designed to be LEED Gold and HQE certified, fulfilling the most stringent worldwide environmental standards. A total of 3,350 square meters of solar panels will be installed on the south face of the building, along with an internal energy recovery system that will be used to heat the building's water. The 55-story building includes a luxury hotel, offices, high-end residences, and even an observation deck at the top, all of which are accessible by 40 lifts, 23 in the tower, and 17 in the platform. The beautiful skyscraper, touted as one of Africa's highest, is projected to cost approximately $420 million according to the CEO of Morocco's public bank, BMCE. This would include the construction of a number of cutting-edge facilities. The Mohammed VI Tower will be the centerpiece of the Bou Regreg Valley Development Project, which is part of the Rabat, City of Light Moroccan Capital of Culture program when completed in 2022. The Six Tower Mohammed Project, which was built by O Tower, a subsidiary of Group Finance Com and managed by Moroccan billionaire Othman Benjelan, was not without controversy and criticism. Critics have expressed concerns over the building of the Mohammed VI skyscraper, emphasizing its potential to disrupt the metropolitan scene. Many people are afraid that the skyscraper, which stands 250 meters tall and has four to five floors, would have a detrimental impact on views, especially considering its closeness to structures with only three levels. According to the Spanish news agency EFE, UNESCO wrote to the Moroccan government in 2019 to raise concern over ongoing urban development projects in Rabat. Rabat was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2012 for its historic significance and the city's remains of various civilizations. The UNESCO recognition, on the other hand, requires local governments to notify UNESCO in advance of any substantial urban initiatives that may affect the city's architecture. The Moroccan authorities, on the other hand, backed up their argument by claiming that the tower will be erected outside of the protected historic zone of the Bouregre River. 
Regardless of these misgivings, there is little doubt that the Mahamad the Sixth Tower will revolutionize Rabat and cement the city's status as one of the best in the world, not only in Africa. According to B6, the project is anticipated to be completed by 2022. When finished, it will be one of Africa's tallest skyscrapers. The building, which consists of a tower on a platform like a rocket on its launch pad, would definitely transform Rabat's skyline. At the top of the tower, there will be a luxury hotel, offices, high-end homes, and an observation deck with a fantastic view of the lovely North African city. Overall, Morocco is ranked 67th tallest country in the world and 7th tallest in Africa. The country is served by a network of major and minor highways totaling 57,847 kilometers, 35,946 miles, of which 30,254 kilometers, 18,800 miles, are paved. With an increasing number of licensed vehicles, the road infrastructure has become very crowded, particularly in metropolitan areas. According to government data, traffic accidents kill up to 3,000 people each year. Morocco has 70 airports, 11 of which are large and relatively modern, with plans to upgrade all of them by 2021. The largest of these, an international airport located south of Casablanca, serves many European, American, Canadian, Middle Eastern, and African destinations. According to the Global Infrastructure Hub, he hub Morocco would confront a $37 billion infrastructure investment deficit in the years running up to 2040. However, it is not a challenge that is being ignored. The country's government inked a $237 million agreement with the Arab Fund for Economic and Social Development AFESD, in June 2019 to upgrade its dams and road networks. The African Development Bank then granted a 100 million euros, 110.6 million dollars, loan in November to fund more infrastructure projects. The Moroccan government, on the other hand, should be careful of simply pouring additional money at the country's infrastructure deficit. Overall, the country is doing well in terms of infrastructure. It is only in rural regions that there is a significant shortage. In many ways, Morocco's infrastructure is the envy of the rest of Africa, but the nation should not start patting itself on the back until all of its inhabitants have access to the same benefits in transportation, education, and healthcare as those living in its main cities. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing and turning on your notifications.